We will be gram staining the bacterial smear we've prepared in order to view the shape and gram stain reaction of the bacteria we're investigating. Holding the slide over the waste bucket in the middle of the bench, flood the slide with our first reagent, the crystal violet. This is the primary stain and will stain the bacteria a deep purple. Allow the stain to sit for one minute, then rinse the slide with water using a wash bottle. Ensure that all the waste goes into the waste bucket and not down the drain. Then flood the slide with our second reagent, the Graham's iodine. The iodine is a mordant and helps the primary stain to penetrate the bacterial wall. After one minute, rinse with water as before. The decolorizing step is third and is performed by dripping the alcohol acetone mixture onto the slide until the color runs clear. Rinse immediately to prevent the slide from becoming over decolorized. It is important not to let the decolorizer sit too long on the slide. About five seconds should be enough time. So-called gram-positive bacteria will hold onto the primary stain during this step and retain their purple color. Gram-negative organisms will lose their stain and become decolorized. The fourth and final step of this procedure is to flood the, stain, the slide with counterstain, safranin. This will stain pink and is used to visualize the gram-negative organisms. The safranin will stain these organisms pink. After 30 seconds, rinse the safranin from the slide and shake off the excess water. The slide can be partially dried by running the edge over a paper towel and by wiping the back of the slide. Do not wipe off the front or you will wipe away your smear. Place the slide on the slide warmer to finish drying.